This is a regular scheduled meeting in the town of Berlin, developing a new right. board. <laughs> That's quite all right. Um, I've done it to your meetings. <laughs> um, uh, we have two applications tonight. Um, what I'd like to do first thing, because we are recording tonight for the first time, and also we have a new recording secretary for the first time, so we'll go around the table and introduce ourselves, and we'll start on the left here with Tom Badowski. Tom Badowski, zoning administrator. John Krieger. Uh, Bob Warnick, I'm chair. Carlin Weasel. Shane Mispel. Josh Fitzhugh. And Christy. And Christy Flynn, recording secretary. Um, and the applicants will do themselves as they go along here. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is we have two applications, and, and I see the applicants are present, so I'm going to ask those that intend to give testimony before this board tonight, please raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth of the matters before this board tonight, and the penalties of perjury. I do. Yes. I do. Thank you. Um, so uh, we'll start first with RNG properties. Um, and Randy, identify yourself, please. Uh, Randy Rulo. And Randy, why don't you give us an overview of what you're proposing here, so we can understand what, what's there now and what, where you're going. Uh, basically, just a storage building. I mean, pretty simple. No much more to it than that. <laughs> um, so. What else is on the uh, like, We'll go through the, the individual sure. criteria as we go through them. Uh, nothing else to say about that? It's just storage building? Yeah. I mean, it was a double wide there before. It was a rental building. And, um, was a double wide used as an office? No. It was, a, it was rented out as a home. Residence? Yeah. Um, okay. Tom, any comments you'd like to make? Not at this moment, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not used to that. There goes the Academy Award. <laughs> I, I, maybe, maybe not. Um, so, uh, questions by board members um, before we go through the individual criteria? Mm -hmm. um, there's a picture here that we have. That's from the state. Uh, yeah. the state oversight. This is the lot right here that we're talking about? No, nope. it's over here. Pretty. Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. See that building right there? Yeah. And this, this building right here? Yeah. That's the double wide that's there? Well, it's gone. Okay. It but that's, so that's, and the, and the new building you're intending to put in is goes this right one? in there? Right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's this one? Yes. Uh -huh. So it would be. Okay. okay. It's a separate lot. So this is separate from this bigger lot? Yes. Separate okay. so different. We, were, we thought it was on here. I thought you were talking about the sales. No, it's the lot next to it. There's, I bought that lot separate okay. from uh, Richardson. Okay, so that makes sense. Makes more sense. Um, but the permit you show us from the highway department is for the other lot. Well, no, what they they were, they were, they want to get rid of some of the entrances. Yeah. So I had to do the, what's it called? Oh, waiver. Yep. Yeah. So I worked that out with them. <clears throat> basically, they're fine with my entrances, except they want me to close part, part of that driveway that goes to the lot that I want to put the storage building on. So how do you access that lot? Well, I own both lots. So I mean, Right, but so what, how will you access that lot? The building, the yeah. storage building? We're actually going to access it from, not even from the road, like from our, the back of the lot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're going to have the garage door, or the door on the back side, not on the front side. Okay. So we, we just <clears throat> cut across. You know I mean, it's all level. It's all one big flat parcel. Okay. It's, so it's you're, not, you're, you're, it's a separate lot, but you're really combining the, the two lots, the, the functions of the two lots. Is that right? Well, we use both lots, yeah. yeah okay. Um, okay. So their their permit extended to the lot which has the uh, mobile homes on it for sale. Well, yeah, and also right here, Bob. I didn't put any of this in, but all this stone wall and this hedge down there, you've seen it, right, down there? I never paid close attention. Yeah, they, they want that all gone. This, Bob Richardson was a 
landscaper, Windy Ridge, remember those guys? Yeah. And he used to live here. Okay. So he put all this, it's really nice, I mean, it looks beautiful, but uh, he obviously didn't get a permit from the state when he put it all in, so. Anyway, they want it all gone, but what they said is, you know, because we have these long homes, trucks, sometimes over 100 feet, uh, you know, we, we explained to them that we need these, especially for this entrance here, you need really wide turning it, turning radiuses. So they gave, they gave me uh, actually 50 feet, which is outside of the typical. Yeah, 40 feet, normally the max. Yeah, but they gave me 50 to accommodate our business. Mm -hmm. And like I said to them, I said, if I ever develop this thing to something different, you probably don't need those two inches. I mean, you know, depending so, on so, how you, how so they eliminated the, the, the one entrance that was strictly for the yeah. double wide. I don't need an, I don't really need a curb cut to it. Yeah. Specifically, okay. because it's my land both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like this building's for customers or anybody's gonna drive it. There's no traffic to it. It's just, it's just our own vehicles and stuff for the winter and storing. So, I um, didn't ask this question before because I'm presuming that you two are not interested in this application. <laughs> Normally, we ask if anybody wants party status, but I, there was no way to be no else here, so. It's, be the ask for party status. Um, okay, now now I understand. I, I because the drawing from the V trans depicted the entrances to the other lot, other yeah. part of the lot, if you will. Remember in the old days, you used to you used to send a letter to the state, and they had 30 days to respond uh, if they had an objection to what you were trying to do. Yeah. Well, then changed. They, well, the, the statute changed. Yeah. 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 Um, so mm -hmm. okay. Now I understand it. Now I'm trying to find the. Um, and just one more thing. So the 30 by 60 that's over on the left side of this up front of this application is that going to be the new building? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What are the dimensions of the existing double wide? Gone. Right? Is it gone? Yeah, but it was. Um, I think with the decks. It was a 40 and it had like about a 15 foot deck on it, so like 40, 55 feet maybe. Because he had, uh, you can see it in the drawing, he had like this little building on it and a deck. And it was probably with the front deck, the home itself was 24 wide plus maybe another six. So that gives you a rough idea of what the existing. Yeah. So the new structure will be bigger. Similar. A little bit, a little bigger. bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I have a question for the person recording. Uh, is all this page throwing going to screw up the audio? Um, no, no. Page as long as it doesn't lay on top of it. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, uh, going through the site plan review criteria, um, uh, the first criteria is safety of vehicle and pedestrian circulation on site and any, any adverse impacts on the adjacent street network. I think you've explained access to the site is actually going to be from the rear. The rear, yeah. and you'll be using the entrance. To the extent you need an entrance, you'll be using the two entrances on the other you know, remainder portion of the site. Yeah. Um, the um, what? What do you tend to do with the building? It's going to be storage. Yeah, like for equipment, trucks in the winter, just just our own equipment. Do you anticipate this will generate any traffic? Zero. The um, circulation on site, you're going to be coming in from the back of the lot? Yeah. yeah. Just crossing over behind uh, some of those display homes in the back. And we understand correctly the existing drive is being um, this closed off. Yeah. And, uh, um, they're giving me like 10 feet of the existing drive, basically where the stone wall is. And then we're gonna, we need to tear out all the rest of the blacktop there and the stone wall and the bushes. And they want me to pave a little bit of the apron. And you submitted to us, the board, um, a letter of intent from Vermont Agency Transportation yes. uh, indicating that they would approve this if constructed in accordance with their standards. Yes. Tom has that, right? Yeah, and we, we have okay. uh, copies. Yep. So it's called draft, and obviously there's a yep. draft until such time as everything else is approved. Right. 
Um, comments, questions by the board members. Um, which? On criteria one, which is safety of vehicle, pedestrian circulation on site, any adverse impact on the adjacent street network. Um, did you have any further comments on that criteria? I don't think so. There will be the storage building itself will have uh, one door? One overhead door and one side entrance. And the overhead door is going to be in the back of the building? Is yes. Right? Which would make sense. Um, criteria B, adverse impact, uh, the, oh, no, excuse me. Adequacy of circulation, parking, and loading facilities. I think you addressed circulation. Do you didn't have any parking? No. Uh, parking will be what you have on the other lot. Yeah. Um, bicycle pedestrian access. Bicycle? Bicycle pedestrian access to the site. There's no pedestrians needed to go there. Anticipating any pedestrian use, and zero, and yeah. bicycle access or anything like no. that. No, it's a storage building. Yes. Um, adequacy of landscaping. Do you propose to add any landscaping? No. What do you have for existing landscaping? You are removing the snow wall. Yeah, the state's requiring that. Yeah. It would appear from this photograph that there's vegetation on both sides. Trees. Um, still there. No, those trees were. We cut all those trees down. They're gone. Yeah. What about the, the other side? Well, there's all. Yeah, between us and Capitol, there's all that vegetation. Yeah. What about in the front? No, that's all gone. Those trees are gone. Gone. Yeah, we have homes parked there. So. We have homes parked there now. Yes. For a while. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys need to get around Berlin? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're the mishaps over there too. <laughs> well, you're almost out of Berlin. Now. I guess so. <laughs> oh, no. Remember how hard I fought for that to keep it commercial. <laughs> um, so you're not proposing to add any landscaping? No, I mean I don't. It's kind of looks pretty good right now, really. It's all nice, you know, lawn, we mow it. And you park the trailers on the lawn? Yes. Modular. Pardon? Modular homes. Modular homes, sorry. Well, they're different. No, there are, there's no such thing as trailers anymore. I, I, I realize that. But we get people coming in, can we look at your trailers? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the one I haul the tractor with? Pretty funny, actually. The Hours of operation? Uh, we're open uh, Monday through Saturday, or Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, and Saturday from 9 to 3 in the winter, and 9 to 4 in the summer. Um, and you've provided us with the setbacks on the application. Yeah. The front yard setback is 119 feet, is that correct? Yeah. And the side, the left side is that's the my property line, really. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I put it on there. But. Yeah. And the right side is thirty-one feet. That's to right. the buddy property. Who's that buddy, pro pro buddy property owner? It might be a split there. Oh. I mean, I own the whole. The lot goes long, so I mean, it's Capital and I think Richardson. I don't know. Is that Richardson? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Kind of splits. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. There's two lots in there. Maybe three, I don't know, maybe two or three. There's three. Yeah, three lots. Yeah. How, how did you measure the side back, the setbacks? Uh, just with the tape. But assuming you, mean you staked out where the new building would be, do you say it's larger than the existing building? Well, the existing building is going to go right where it is now. So, And the, the additional is going to go towards my line. My line. I'm not going to be any closer anyway to their line. Okay. And you're no closer than the existing building? To the road and to the... Right. Yeah, we're going to use the front of the existing to the road, you know, and then the side. Okay. Bud's capital, and then we're going to we'll go our way. 
So the right side setback goes to capital. That's 31 feet. Yeah. Yes. And yours will be a little less than 78 because that's your the building's a little wider than the double line. Well, I might have done. I might have calculated it with the new building. I'm not, I forget what I did now. But. So. Not sure what I did, but yeah, I did. But those setbacks that I wrote on the application of assuming as a 30 by 60 building. And that's the new building, 30 by yes. 60. Yes. Okay. The lot line for between your two lots, as you said, was three separate lots, is where is that on this line? It's right where those trees are, those, that line of pine trees there that run between the... Right here, Bob. It's basically those trees must have been planted right on the line. Okay. Yeah. So that drive that came, the old drive that came in, that... Um, it was entirely on the lot where I'm going to build, want to build the new building. So the drive was on these, the, 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 that little, that lot there, the one acre lot? Yes. Okay. Huh. Looks like the trees are on this. It's casting, where it is, where the focus yeah. is taken, it's casting a shadow. It's the shadow oh. is fooling you. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. bothered me too at first. Oh, it looks like <laughs> the tree, yeah. It, it only makes sense because the drive had to be on the lot. Right. right. We don't need any access there. And like I said, if we were ever going to discontinue what we're doing there and propose something different, well, that would all be engineered with everything that you guys, yeah. you know, that you need for whatever we would do there. I mean, like I said, we pre you probably wouldn't, you may not even need two entrances at that point. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Um, the um, criteria is exterior lighting. Will there be any lighting associated with the storage building? No lighting. I mean, we're going to have lights inside. How about the entrance? No, no lights. Um, stop me if anybody has questions. Uh, storm water and drainage. I don't. I don't propose any. I don't, it's just it's pretty much all grass around it now. Lawn. And you're not really creating any more additional impervious area. No. A little bit because the building's a little bit bigger. A little, a little bit, bit on the roof, maybe. But mm -hmm. yeah. well, less because of the driveway, right? Yeah. If you were playing the driveway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. True. Move the pavement. Good point. Um, utilization of renewable energy resources. Non heated. And you would not interfere with somebody else's ability to. Did you uh, ask for municipal service impact? I did. Uh, Chief Wolf gave me a letter saying uh, there was no impact. It's a state road, so you have a V trans, and I did not hear from Chief Dufresne. Okay. And flood hazard review? It's not in the flood plan. Are there questions by the board? None. None. Any comments by the board members? Okay. In that case, if uh, we've heard all the evidence, uh, I would entertain a motion to uh, close the one portion of the hearing. So moved. Second. Motion been made and seconded. There's discussion on that motion. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And this hearing is closed. Uh, we'll issue our findings of facts uh, forthwith. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks. Randy. Have a good night. Have a good night, Randy. Okay. Gentlemen, will you introduce yourselves? Uh, Greg Champy. Timothy Morris. Jason Chase. And as with the case of this, this is a you wanted is a three hearings, right? We had a concept plan review. It's, there's a very small piece of this in the commercial zoning district, so it falls under commercial um, an application. So that's why. So we got concept plan review, we have preliminary plan review, and then we also have final plan review. All. Wrapped into one hearing as a major, um, as a major because it's, it's commercial. Unfortunately, the property is commercial. Um, 
Okay. So, uh, tell us what you're doing. Uh, basically, I have one currently now. My my residence and everything is on one lot, uh, and basically, I want to just break out a separate lot around my residence and to break away from the other lot, the remaining lot, just to keep as a separate entity. Your purpose just just to break it out for now. There is a possibility, of obviously, sale down the road in the future. I mean, I don't know what will occur from that or what could happen, but there's a possibility of that. Access to um, uh, the uh, lot one would be how? Uh, there's two. There's an access off Vine Street, or the, the, the continuous properties on Vine Street, and then there's actually an access from. Uh, down from the lights coming off Ames Plaza. Ames Plaza. Okay. There's a right away. There's no access there now, but there's a right away. <coughs> there's a right away. Right away. Yeah. Hmm. And lot number two is accessed off of Midway Avenue. Yes. yes. Uh, Does Midway <coughs> end at your property line? Uh, I believe it goes up the hill a piece. I'm not sure what the actual criteria current. Lines I, I believe Tim said it actually ends before. Right. It ends before. And so he said that's not on town road, so he had no comment on it. Okay. Tim Davis, the road foreman. Yeah, I, I knew middle of the avenue is very short. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. wasn't sure how short. Um, so, what should, uh, anything else you want to tell us about the project here? So I better understand it? Just just that, that was pretty much my intent. So, yeah. so nothing new is happening on lot two? Yeah. There's no there's lot construction on okay. any lot, either something lot. Something I read led me to believe that something was being built, but then I, okay. You're asking, um, uh, where do you stand on water and wastewater permits? Um, we have an application with the state at this point. We haven't got it back yet. The application is for lot one and for lot two? Yes, because of the, for the subdivision, for the decrease of the acreage in lot one, and then for lot two, uh, we also have a designated replacement area. Just because when you subdivide a lot, you have to create a spot, the septic system that never fails. And on lot one, you're asking for deferment? Yes. So you're not showing any water or wastewater capabilities on that lot? Okay. Now, we're in subdivision regulations. Another part of the book. <laughs> can, I, oh, um, can I ask a question while you're doing it? Yeah. Where, where is the, not that it has an effect on this application, but where is the, the uh, highway commercial district? Or the right land in the highway commercial? Down here in this part of it, right down. Yeah, a little bit in lot two and a little bit in lot one. I see. So very it's about small. a combined less than an acre. Okay. It's very small. Nine and ten. Well, that's the zoning boundary you're showing so the there. Yes. The, the thing with the Z in it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, oh. You see it, Josh? Yeah. Now I see it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was looking for the same thing. Mm -hmm. And for that, you call this a <laughs> bettered air <laughs> side of caution. <laughs> Just trying to scare everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, be all excited. Not, I would have heard the other <laughs> end of it. <laughs> It'd be interesting to utilize that little sliver of land for something commercial. <laughs> I didn't draw the boundary. <laughs> <laughs> that boundary. That boundary is based on contour elevation, is it? I believe so. Yes. See, that's why those are gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't <give> me. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> The, um, okay, um, so uh, uh, any other questions by board members? Do you have comments, uh, Tom? No. Uh, uh, you know, the Chief Wolf again said there was no impact from, from his office. I mentioned to you, Tim Davis Road Foreman said that Midway Avenue, uh, that part's not town road, doesn't maintain town roads. It's not under his purview and did not hear anything from the Chief Dufresne. Do you have a right of way? If the Midway Avenue doesn't go to your property, do you have a right of way? Yep. You do. Well, I, I, the road 
has been there. That's all I know. I don't know what the... Does the town plow up to your property line? They plow up to the top. I think it was because it's it ends at the bottom of a hill on a hill. Yeah. And when the, you say the top, where is that on this drawing? With the bend? Or? Yeah, it would be at the... If you're coming up, is at the bend. So way under your property. Yeah. Yeah. Well, under they, your would, they, they plow under your property. Yes. Hmm. I, I think what originally yeah, I was I told was if they go up to where the property line crosses the roadway, it's it's right behind the set of houses that are there existing, and it's on a hill, and they have to there's nowhere for them to turn around. Wow. So they have to basically would have to back all the way down into the bowling alley. Yeah. To turn around. Uh, so and where it they, was on a hill. Where they turn around. Right at the top of the hill. I, I, I don't at know. The, oh, I'm sorry, right on the bend. Right on the bend. Okay, that's the top yeah. of the hill. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they obviously does not show the hill. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so somebody thinks they. <laughs> well, they probably just do it because that's the convenient yeah, that's, way. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. So yeah. can I just ask on lot one, what's the access, what's the topography like from Vine Street? It's pretty much level. Oh, it is. So it's yeah. easy access right, from Vine Street. It's right okay. next to the school. So there's no need to have any kind of easement across your lot to get to the. No, no. It, it's the edge of the lots in line with Vine Street. Okay. Okay. It runs up to Vine Street. Yeah. yeah. And it's all pretty much level. Okay. From there. I know that roads can be. It, well, there's actually a, there's a road, uh, just a dirt road that goes through there. Oh, okay. Been there for years. It's just something my father actually put in, but. Yeah. He's, Okay, well, uh, um, you're not actually proposing anything. I, I, that that property up there, the um, part, lot one, would, would remain of lot one. That's relatively level. Uh, there is a there is a field. I mean, uh, right by the house, this area here. I don't. It's not shown here, but there's a field here. The rest of it is there's there's some hills, valleys. Uh, it's pretty steep and mountainous, kind of behind the bowling alley. Yeah. Um, all up in here, it's, it's pretty much a mountainous. Then there's a field over on the bottom. Well, this is Vine Street. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> over yeah. here, there's a field right next to the school, the church, whatever. Yeah, that yeah. is right there yeah. now. Okay. I say field, flat area. Open. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've there. seen that entrance. I say, and, yeah. and my perception is that it's relatively level out there. Yeah, yeah. It, it, from there, right around, it's, the, it's actually a level hmm. grade. Okay. Uh, any unique wetlands or anything like that? Not that I'm aware of. There, there, there's a, uh, some wetlands in this field here in the corner behind the school, mm -hmm. an old beaver dam kind of thing that's been existing. Um, where, I'm, where I'm trying to go with this is we, typically we, we have to have a separate ruling on concept plan. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, uh, what I'm looking at here is, you know, uh, have you addressed, addressed the criteria for concept plan review? Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, you have obviously provided us more than a sketch of the proposal of the vision. You've actually provided us with a survey. Um, the, um, uh, you've notified budding property owners, and obviously they're excited because they're all here. <laughs> being very well, one of the concerns, obviously, is when, uh, what he said was if you, you know, they get the notice of a major subdivision, that everybody would you. think what's going in down there and what's happening, and all of a sudden everybody, but I. I personally hadn't seen anything from any, heard anything from anybody. So I, I had two calls and supplied yeah. the information, and yeah. they knew back from anything. Oh, because it was listed as major. Was yeah. Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you've done park tests for the replacement site. Yes. And you've submitted that, but you do not have approval. Exactly. So you're waiting for approval from the state. Yes. Okay. Um, That really is the essence of the concept plan review. Um, uh, you're not proposing any new main roads, uh, not proposing any new rights of ways, so that uh, there are no roads involved. Um, we do have contour intervals for the area you're supposed to use for wastewater, and your testimony is that you're going to that you were requesting uh, deferment on the. Um, is that the correct term, deferment? On the, oh, yes, on the lot, development. Lot yeah. one, yeah. Develop, deferring development. Pardon? Deferring development, yeah. Yeah, deferring development. Okay. Um, I would 
accept an offer, a motion with regard to the concept plan, or if nobody has any further questions on the concept plan? It's fine to me. Yeah. I move mean, that we actually, at that point, we our review, we can uh, approve, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I move for approval. Of the concept plan? Yes. I'll second. Motion been made and seconded to approve the concept plan. Um, it's not the whole project, but it's just, it's just, you know, the concept that we agree with. Because normally, I tell you what, this is normally done one hearing at a time. Fine, this sure. will be a three hearing process. Well, okay, yeah. Okay, so we sort of combine them. Uh, Tom has gotten very efficient about this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, the preliminary plan review. You need a vote. Oh, wait, sorry. My apologies. Uh, all those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And the uh, concept plan has been approved. So the uh, preliminary plan application, um, uh, I'm just looking for the criteria here. Thank God somebody's rewriting these. Yes. Pretty much the same. Isn't yeah, it's pretty well, it, it requires a completed permanent survey. Which has been provided. Yeah. Um, uh, it, plan must show lots, and there's criteria for what we're supposed to be on the plan, and sketches, and um, um, any any improvements, and you're saying none. So, and you've shown the roads. You did not. Oh, you do show us the test pit location. Is that correct? Yes, actually, I have another plan. If you want to look at that, it's a site plan. It might show it a little better. I didn't put these all out, but. Lost and that's the plan you submitted to yes. ANR? Yeah. Yeah, if we could have this. Entered in the testimony, I appreciate that. Be helpful. Oh, copy, copy. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like a copy uh, for my records, please. And Tom, you already you already tested that you talked to yeah, fire. And, there, well, you have talked to fire because they haven't come back to you, but you've talked to the yeah. chief and, and the oh, um, right road foreman. Road foreman and the uh, chief of police. Yes. It's not on Neither one have it's issues. Um, I'm looking through the criteria as we speak here. And I apologize for the silence. Um, any of my compatriots here have any questions with regard to these criteria? Uh, no. You're not asking for any waivers from the regulations? None of these are really applicable because there's no development. Right, right. Thank you. Um, Is this really? Sure. Yeah. No, I'll ask after. And, um, okay. Um, then I'm going to move on to the final criteria, the final plan review. And you have not. This normally would require the uh, water wastewater approval. You have not got that yet, so yeah, your I permit have. will be conditioned, conditioned on your that approval being received um, and the deferment being received, which is pretty simple. Um, so obviously, nothing can be built on that site until such time as you have your water and sewer uh, approval for that site. Um, both sites are going to remain in your name. Ah, they're a joint name of this. Okay. And did you get a shit out of this? Um Thank you, Tom. Calls for final plat, seal. Survey is done under the supervision of Bill. Um, I think we have everything. Does anybody have questions with regard to subdivision? Um, no. Do we go over what has to be filed? So, 
did. Did he? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're I think, I think so. The we're, the the... we're going yeah. for this to be effective. We're going to need the permit okay. from the state. Um, you're going to have to file the plat. Yes. Um, it's going to have to be sealed. It's going to have to meet survey law. Um, Bill knows all that. There was a request to to waive the contour requirement. Contour on, line sec requirement. on second lot, on yes, second lot, yeah. which is fine with me. Yeah. Yeah, I did, and since they're not asking for any any use of it, they're, they're asking you're going to get a deferment on it. Right. Before right. such right. times they use it, they're going to have to do the contours. Um, it, it's a large lot. There's, there's not a lot of reasons to do a topographical right. survey. No, nope. I agree. Uh, unless you intend to do something with it. Um, so I, I, in lo looking at the criteria, I think they've met all the criteria except for the ones that obviously don't need to be met. Uh, you're going to retain both properties, so uh, we'll need to see the, 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 the survey filed within six months. Um, and it's going to remain, both lots are going to remain in your names, but there'll, there'll be new deeds. Yeah. They, they didn't yeah. need to be filed. Also, uh, same time. So, um, do you have anything further you want to add about the project that we should know about? Sounds kind of straightforward. Uh -huh. It does look like pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for something exciting here. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's Christie's first night. Uh, I, I guess yeah. contingent on the approval of the committee tonight, there is a. What is there a uh, waiting period uh, month? Is it or? It's about it's it's 30 and 45 30, days. Okay. Uh, is that contingent? Does that period start from now or when the permit when the permit is issued? Stays? Well, it's when it comes it, it, the, the, the period of time between now and the permit being issued uh, takes Christy a while to write these. Mm -hmm. We need to review them. Yeah, and and probably not this is going to probably be a little longer than the first one because this is her first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no problem. I, just, I was just curious on so that. So she needs to get used to us, and we yeah. need to get used to her. Um, so, uh, but then yeah. once once the permit is issued by Tom, there yeah. is a an appeal period. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but very frankly, appeals can only be filed by people who are parties, mm -hmm. and nobody has asked for party status. Um, to the best of my knowledge, Tom. Nobody has. So it'd be hard to have an appeal. It'd be very hard to appeal. Thank you. <laughs> the only person to appeal is the town of Berlin. But that is 30 days after yeah, the Yeah, 30 days. Uh, so I'll just make a motion to close the hearing. Right, thank you for that. Second. second. Motion been made and second to close the hearing. Um, discussion on that motion? All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And this hearing is closed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. The, um, we have one more order of business tonight. That's the minutes mm -hmm. of our last meeting. Uh, I had a number of comments on those, which I frankly shared with um, uh, Carla, because so she could do the findings, and, and she has done that. So yes. she's incorporated my, 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 my recommended changes. Um, she did not get us a revised minutes, though, did she? No. I did not see it. So, did everyone here see my memo? Yes. No result? Yes. We don't care, Bob. <laughs> I wasn't here, so I can't attest to them one way or the other, but. I was not here either. Well, there was. I mean, there was one or two typographical things having to do with exit versus existing. Um, but the big thing was that um, there was some discussion on the 2,000 year flood that mm -hmm. needed to be changed. And I suggested changes that she, uh, I don't know where the 125 year base came from, but that's, I don't think anybody even said 125 years, so. Um, is there such a thing? No, well, there is, but you, oh. know, you rarely ever use it for any purpose. It's 100 or, I was here 100 yeah, or 200. It's, it's, it, the, the years is actually a, a, thing, a probability thing. In other words, right. A 1% chance is a 100 year flood. But it really is 1% flood. Um, the, um, 
So I suggested some of this be stricken and then some be changed. Um, the, um, I think I'm going to ask Carla to, to, she has all of this in writing, and, and all of you have, have seen my, my, mm -hmm. my comments in writing. So um, I'd like to make the motion that we accept the minutes as amended uh, as revised. I so I move. Okay. Second. And the uh, motion's been made second to accept the minutes with the revisions I've proposed. Um, and all those in favor of that motion, please swing the left seat by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And uh, we approve the minutes of July 17th. Uh, as amended. Um, do we have any other business to come to the board tonight? Deliver a session. Do we have to deliberate? Yeah, we'll go to the deliver a session. We'll, uh, I we assume have, we won't record for that. We will not be recording the deliberative session. <laughs> do we, have a, we have another hearing on September 4th, right? Correct. I gave you two Elizabeth, applications. Elizabeth, two. Yeah. So do I have a motion to go to the deliberative session? So moved. Second. Motion to be made and seconded. I mean, yeah. session. <laughs> Aye. 